Hello, hello, Erica here. How y'all doing? Uh, today I decided to come to Disney Springs and get in line for the Gideon's Bake Shop virtual queue. It is about 10 till 10 right now. They open at 10. Um, I'm also going to do some other stuff, you know, go around, uh, maybe go by Everglades. Uh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. That sounds like a lot of sweets, but you know. All right, if you guys can see up ahead, we are at First Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. And then the line for Gideon's, it looks like it wraps all the way around and it's back on this side of Morimoto. So it's 10.01 and the line has started to move. And it looks like it's moving pretty fast. All right, so a Gideon's employee just stopped by and gave me a menu to look at while I'm in line. So maybe that means I'm not gonna have to get onto a virtual queue. Um, that would be awesome. And I did ask her uh, what the uh, what's exclusive to this location that you cannot get at the other location. And she said that would be the cold brews and the coffee cake cookie, which I actually did know that about the coffee cake cookie, thanks to our friends Chris and Christina. Um, they had told us that a while back. Um, so I think that's probably what I'm gonna get is the coffee cake cookie and I might try the eternal flame as well. And I think it's like the cookie of the month. So I'm gonna get both of those. Um, you know, I've got two, two boys at home that can help me eat them, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I just noticed that they have a peanut butter iced coffee. They also have a ginger snap cold brew. Those sound very interesting, so I think I might try one of those. All their coffees are vegan. They use oat milk, and it says all coffees use oat milk and are vegan. Our beans are proudly locally roasted, so that's good too. It looks like an old bookstore. It's all of, um, behind the counter is all loaded up with books and curiosities and curios and look at this. But this is really, really neat. I did not expect it to be this cool looking inside. This is amazing. Hi there. Hi, good morning. Good morning. This is awesome. <laughs> Welcome in. We're Thank you. you. I am going to try the peanut butter cold brew. Can I get a peanut butter cold brew? And I'm going to do the, do you have the coffee cake yes, cookie? One of those. And then one of the February specials, the... One of the yep, um, we have a half spice option, then we have a full spice option. Oh, uh, just the half spice option for me. Thank you. And what are these? These are going to be our buttercream icing dips. They're the same icings we put on the cakes. Um, we have a peanut butter option and a vanilla bean option if you'd like to. Oh, and these are your candles, right? Yeah, I want a candle too. I know that. You want to take my candle? No problem. Yes, thank you. So I just came over in front of Hangar Bar to sit down and try the cookies and try the cold brew. So here is a peanut butter cold brew and it looks like it has, I don't know if it's peanut butter powder on the top or cinnamon or something, but it's some sort of powdery substance on the top. Let's try it. Oh wow. Hmm. I like it, but I'm not sure what to think exactly. It's just so different. You know, peanut butter and coffee together is just like <clears throat> something I would have never thought to add together. It's very interesting. I think that this would be a nice every once in a while treat. 
but I don't know that it's something I'd want to drink all the time. But it's good, I like it. I mean, I will drink this whole thing. So I got two cookies, so they gave me this cute little box with the little Gideon stamp on it. And then they wrap their cookies really nice. So it looks like the first cookie I have is the Eternal Flame. These things are huge. Little secret, what I like to do because I mean, there's no way I could eat even half of one of these in one sitting. Um, what I like to do with Gideon's cookies is I like to freeze them. You can even take them and cut them into like quarters and then put them in the freezer. So then when you're just kind of craving a little sweet snack, you just pull a little piece out, set it on the counter for about, you know, 10 minutes or so. And uh, you've got a nice little Gideon's treat. Let me show you this. Mm. That chocolate covered cherry is good. And I think it's like the perfect amount of spice. Like I can feel it in the back of my throat, but it's not like crazy spicy. Like my mouth isn't on fire or anything. Now for the coffee cake cookie. Oh, this looks good. It does look just like a coffee cake. All right, here we go. So the coffee cake cookie is good. I don't know how much it tastes like coffee cake to me. But that's almost just like the crumble from a coffee cake is what it tastes like, which is the best part, along with the cinnamon. And that does not taste like it has much cinnamon. So yeah, that's really good. I like them both very much. I can't wait to take them home and share them with the boys. Um, I'm going to drink my peanut butter cold brew and I'm gonna try to find some lunch and then uh, maybe go do some shopping. All right, so I decided to come down to Everglades. I'm not going to get anything, but I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. You can see them through the window making the donuts. We're actually doing a staycation at the end of the month. When we do that, maybe we'll come back and get some donuts. We have had them already, and they are absolutely delicious, but they're very rich. So here it is. If you look in the window, there is a glare, but I don't know if you can see, they're in there making the donuts. You can see the fruity pebbles and the sprinkles and the glazed donuts. And the, uh, see they're making the, Cookies and cream donuts. Super cool. They do have a contactless menu, so when you come in line, they have one of those at the beginning, and they have one of those at the end of the line. So you can just scan it with your phone, and the menu will pop up for you. It's a pretty small menu, um, but when the product is really good. You really don't need a whole lot to choose from. Oh so, yeah, we'll definitely show you this in, in another video. We'll come back and I'll go in and see if I can show you all the donuts. All right, I think I'm going to check out the M&M store next. I've not been in there since they've opened. So uh, maybe I can find something for Steve for Valentine's Day in there.
All right, so I've been put on a virtual queue to do the M&M's personalization. So I am going to go back in about 45 minutes or so and do that. So I am going to go find something to eat now. So it is Black History Month and Disney Springs is celebrating with a bunch of entertainment and other things. And um, I just saw this art wall and it's artwork inspired by Disney's soul. And they had two artists paint little murals on the windows. And they're very nice, I like them very much, so I just wanted to show them to you. It looks like this one was painted by Bianca Pastel, and it's entitled Joe and His Fro. And this is the artist. And there's the side of the painting. And then the second artist is Arrington Porter, and his art piece is called Joe's World. Here's the side. And there is the painting. So if you haven't seen Disney's Soul yet, you have to watch it. It is such a great, great cartoon. I mean, Disney doesn't get much wrong, so uh, you can almost guarantee that if Disney comes out with a new movie, that it's gonna be good. So I decided to come to the chicken guy for lunch today. I've never been here. I think I'm gonna get a salad. I'm not really very sure how this works. Um, it looks like they have like a bunch of different sauces. Here's like the sauce wall. He's got guys favorites, the classic, hot and spicy, and then it has all of the sauces listed below by number, so. I see they have a wasabi honey sauce. It has ground wasabi, honey, and lemon. So I might try that. I don't know. We'll see. There he is, the guy himself. So I got the barbecue chopped chicken salad. It comes with the brown sugar barbecue sauce. And it comes with a buttermilk ranch sauce. And then I also got two additional sauces. I got the wasabi honey. And I got the avocado crema. And I figured uh, that I would just dip my, uh, my chicken in those and try them out. Um, it looks really good. Let me see if I could show you here. That is what the salad looks like. It smells really good. Let's try this out and see how it tastes. that's better <laughs> so the wasabi almost looks like a hot sauce so wasabi honey it's like very very thin like watery thin where the avocado crema is thicker like a mustard maybe I will start with the barbecue sauce the barbecue sauce is good but it's a little sweet that buttermilk ranch is really good. That's really, really good. That's what's going on my salad. I try the avocado crema. That's very tasty. You can taste the lemon in it. It tastes more lemony than it does avocado, but it's very creamy, which is very, which is really good. Last but not least, the wasabi. Okay. I love wasabi. But I don't think that I like this. I don't care for this because of the sweet, the honey. Don't get me wrong, I love honey too. But um, wasabi and honey together, not my thing. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna eat my salad, 
and then probably go do a little shopping. So I just got a text message to come back to the M&M store for the M&M's personalization. It might, it's my turn. So I am heading over there now. I'm excited about this. I can't wait to see how it turns out. So I just went in the photo booth and I uploaded a photo because, um, because of COVID right now, you can't take your mask off so they can't take the photos here. But you can upload a photo from your phone. And then also they have the option to do like text, like you could do your own words. They have pre-printed words like I love you. And then they also have like a little Disney, like Cinderella castle, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so that's neat. And then you choose your colors. Here are all the colors, options. So they have some pre-mixed ones. And then they have just the regular colors that you can choose. So depending upon what you order, you can choose up to more colors. But I just got a small uh, thing, so it was only up to three colors, which is fine. Um, you know, if you want more than that, you can get a color mix. But, um, yeah. All right, here I go. Push the button. Now the M&Ms are coming out of there. And then he will put them into the little container that I chose, which is this heart box. And into the beautiful M&Ms bag. Yeah. And if you look up on the wall here, these are some of the things that you can get on the m and So like, here's the castle, there's a Mickey, there's a Minnie, there's a unicorn, dolphin. So those are the types of photos that they have already ready for you to get on the m and And then if you look here, um, you can get a picture. And then little things like that says happy birthday. There's a photo up there. So it's really neat. Uh, this is a great idea that Eminem's came up with, and uh, I'm really excited to see how it turns out. All right, so I think I'm gonna make just a couple more stops before I head home. I spotted some cardigans, some Disney cardigans in one of the shops. And I've been wanting to get a Disney cardigan for a while. There is a store right down here ahead of me that has some. So I'm going to go take a look. to World of Disney and I think that's probably going to be my last stop but I do want to take a look and see what they have okay so I'm so excited right now because I was just walking through and I passed the art of shaving and I didn't realize that they actually do shave there um, I thought it was just a shop that sells shaving equipment, like, you know, shaving cream and razors and all that stuff. But I had been looking for a gift for Steven and he's obsessed with watching YouTube videos of guys getting like the straight razor shaves and you know, the whole hot towel treatment. And I've been wanting to get one of those for him for a while. And when I realized that they did that here, so excited. I just had to share that with you guys. I thought I saw a light when you passed me by. The reason so they opened up a new Wonder Maid Gourmet Marshmallows place where Rustic Cup used to be. How much is a box? A dollars a box. And what's your favorite flavor? Personally? My personal favorite is going to be bourbon, 
and Irish cream. Uh, yeah. The Irish cream, I think, is a really underrated one. It doesn't sell as well as some of our others, but I think it should. Uh, so they have cookies and cream, birthday cake, Irish cream, salted honey, fireball. Does that taste like cinnamon? Uh, fireball was ham, so it's got that cinnamon flavor to it. Churro. I don't know how I feel about a wine flavored marshmallow though. You know, it's actually better than I thought it would be. Really? Disney that I really wanted today. I saw a couple of things that I, I do want to get at some point once we move, but I'm going to wait until then. I'm trying to uh, control how much stuff I buy before we move because it's just more stuff to pack and, and actually move from one place to another. When I was at Wonder Maid, I did get these Irish cream marshmallows, so I think I'm going to try one of these real quick and then I'm going to head home. I'm just going to pull my mask down real quick so I can try this. Mm. That's a good marshmallow. I'm gonna go ahead and head out now, guys. So I hope you enjoyed following along with me today as I did some eating and some shopping at Disney Springs. Uh, please subscribe, like this video. But with that, I will just say, see you real soon. Bye, guys.